Bushcraft 412 and today I want to do a real quick video on candles. I know you're saying candles. Why would you ever make a video on candles? Well, here's why. As a prepper, we all tend to get caught up in the big end of the world, shit hits the fan scenario, you know, the zombie apocalypse, the societal collapse. We get caught up in prepping for that. And I'll admit it, I do too. It's a lot more fun to go out and buy guns and ammo and long-term food storage than it is to go buy stuff like this. And the problem is, if you're going to be a prepper, you have to think not only for the big, but also the small. SHTF does not always mean end of the world. SHTF can be a bad thunderstorm. It can be a blizzard. It can be a hailstorm. It can be a tornado. It can be a small localized event that disrupts services to your home for a week or two weeks. And you always need to think about the little SHTF scenarios as well as the big, and you have to prepare for both equally. You're more likely going to face a small one. The big one may never come. It may come today, it may come tomorrow, it may come in 50 or 100 years. We don't know, but the little ones are why I'm a prepper. I grew up in the country. I'm used to having thunderstorms that knock out power. I'm used to having, you know, ice storms and things like that and losing power for a week on end. So it's kind of second nature for me to have these things in the house. And I just wanted to point it out, especially for new preppers, you've got to think small. It's not just about guns and ammo. And a great way to help out your prepping is to find things like this that not only are they functional in a, a bad scenario, but they're also look good. Um, you can buy a lot of nice kind of decorative candles and put them around your house. Uh, most of these I pulled from, look right there, that's a living room. That's on the coffee table in the living room. That one there's a bedroom candle. That's another bedroom candle. That there's off the kitchen table. Uh, these ones here are just little ones that were in uh, various rooms. I believe that was on a uh, on a end table somewhere. I pulled these from all over the house. Uh, these little ones here were in the bathroom. They're the scented candles. You know, never heard that scented candles in the bathroom. I've never met a guy whose uh, crap smells good. So why not? You know, it'll make the old lady happy. Having these around the house really helps out because if there is a scenario you do lose power, you've got these candles already in place. You can light them up. You're not hunting for them. You're not digging through bins. You're not putting like those little rinky-dink emergency candles, you know, and then you got to worry about them falling over and tipping over. I'm a big fan of getting these big decorative candles because, number one, they burn for like six days straight but number two this is never going to tip over it's never going to tip it's never going to fall you don't have to worry about it causing a fire in your home and i think i really worry about those you see them at like walmart and, and stores like those emergency candles they're really tall and thin and they don't have much to stand on i don't like them i won't use them i think they're a fire hazard I would much rather buy something like this and none of these candles here were expensive i mean the yankee candles the scented ones, of course, are expensive, but those are more functional. But these decorative big candles were maybe six bucks a piece. Uh, that right there, I think, was a dollar store one. Those are dollar store candles. That's a dollar store candle. Um, those back there, all dollar store. And you can buy neat little, uh, all the decorations. Like you can see that little box it's in with the stones. All that I got at the dollar store. It's a little wooden decorative box. And then those uh, fake... Uh, Decorative stones, you buy a bag of them for a buck. Same thing here. That's a little bamboo bowl. And I bought some of those fake decorative rocks and put them in there. And it kind of looks nice. And no, it's not the nicest decoration on earth, but it brings a little form to a functional item. And that's kind of neat. It helps out your prepping. And when your wife or girlfriend or whoever you live with sees that kind of thing, they're going to appreciate it. That you're not only prepping, but you're prepping in a way that makes the house looks nicer and is decorative and that and that's really important you don't want to have a house that looks like you live in hoarder central no one wants to live in a house like that so being able to combine form and function into your preps is a great way to keep things good with your significant other because if your house looks like crap because you've got bins of candles 
uh, prepping may not fly very good for you. You have some, you know, nice decorative pieces around the house. It might make it a little easier for you. And then your next preps aren't as hard and it isn't as hard to convince them to say, hey, let's spend the money on this. So I am a big fan. I like having, you know, I don't mind decorative candles. We actually burn candles, you know, multiple times a week in my house. Um, I just like them. I find them to be a lot kind of easier on the eyes and uh, normal lights. So it's for me, it's kind of natural to go and light a candle. And as you can see, we have a ton of them. And this is not even all of them. I could easily grab probably 10 or 15 more candles from around the house. Great way to be prepared. Thinking about the small disasters, not just the big one. Hope you enjoyed. Bushcraft 412.